there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. Discombobulated. This ain't no fairy tale high school. This ain't no fairy tale story. Everything is real here. LW see black people 98% of the time. You share pain, you share tears. We are lifelong friends forever. Teachers, please close our doors. We are in an active pause. I'm a seer, and it's make or break time for me. I'm about to get ready to leave high school. Y'all going to jail, because y'all in a stolen car. Come on, Rora! Oh! Y'all ain't going to jail. Y'all going to jail. day in the Garden City. I'm Paul Harris right here at the People Station WOCS 937 FM. Another day, another dollar. I love OW. OW is unknown. People don't know how great OW could be. I like my school. We're not exactly popular. But we're still hanging in there. Like, I'm glad I met OW. Like, I'm glad this is my high school. It's just crazy. Like, I just can't describe it. I think the big word you can say is OW is a family. You know, there's so much excitement that's going on around town. We now have a new principal, Dr. Steven Peters, and he has been asked to come to Orangeburg Wilkinson at a very critical time when we need to turn things around, when we need to move it forward. Dr. Peters, being the principal at OW, what do you want to build at the high school? Well, I think there's a lot of work to be done. It's not an easy school to run. So many of our public schools have failed they're starting to call public schools failure factories. I think our children deserve more than they're getting, particularly uh, our children of color who come from uh, poverty. This is a high poverty index school. That's correct. OW is a school that also, you know, experienced lots of fighting. I'm told two, three fights a day sometimes. Some of our children go home after school not knowing where they're going to stay tonight. And there might be a different house three times this week. And the challenge is, can the work be done? What's up? What's up? Well, I should take a picture and send it to your mom. Tell her you're in here using the B word. Don't get it twisted now. Don't let this suit fool you. I go in the hood. I'm from the hood. Ten four. I like that, Cole. I like that. This is Dr. Peters, principal. So we begin today on our quest to be the best 
And as such, we're going to need your cooperation. We are in three critical weeks of school, possibly the most important weeks of this school year as we prepare for testing. Let's make this a fun day, zero drama. What do people expect when people graduate from OW? Not going to college, having, getting somebody pregnant or getting pregnant. Um, just going on the job where you're going to have to struggle all your life, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So it's do you just, think if the expectations are low for people, then it's difficult to change? It's not impossible, and I feel like it, they've probably been saying this for years and years, but it does start with ourselves. It starts with our generation, and even if it's just a small portion, then that still matters. We're not just that ratchet school in Orangeburg. We're actually pretty smart kids. My name is Jelena Jones. I'm a senior at Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. I'm involved in several clubs and activities that take up much of my time. I do drill team after school. I am in the National Society of Black Engineers. I am a part of National Honor Society. I am in Emeralds of Distinction, which is like a high school sorority. Is there anything you're not, Jelena? Uh, a quitter. <laughs> Pretty sure that most of the people that pass by right now don't even know who I am. I kind of keep to myself. I am beginning the steps to be by myself as an adult. I'm kind of sort of ready for it, but it's like kind of scary at the same time. <laughs> we got the same hairstyle today. <laughs> well, Jelena and I have been friends since sixth grade. We've always pretty much just been the top two in our class. I was about to wear that AI in action. I would describe Jelena as a beautiful person, inside and out. All right, can I have y'all's attention for just a second, please? please listen up. These are three of the most critical weeks of our whole school year, starting today. No playing, no fighting, serious business. At all the kids feel on purpose. Nobody in the classroom succeeding. Everybody is failing. Everybody's talking about OW, how bad it is, how ratchet it is. We need to make this school what it's capable of being. Work, 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 work. You'll never know. It may work out. Then it may not work out. But then it may work out. So, three weeks of straight up business. See y'all later. Appreciate it. uncomfortably quiet and peaceful this morning. Um, I don't know whether it was the announcement this morning seeking their help, but I like it and I, I'm hoping that it will last and we can ride this three-week critical time uh, right into testing. We want to break records. We want higher test scores, we want lower dropout rate. Testing is tied to what people think of our school. Vernon Stevens, everybody know me. I'm currently a cheerleader. I'm on the varsity squad. Why? Right, let's go. Be quiet. When you finish, stop talking. You don't have to prove it. We wasn't talking. Oh, we she you don't have to prove yourself to nobody. My coach, she can be hard on me. I know she loves me, though. She loves all her girls, but I think she loves me more because I'm Vernon, you know. We have our next practice, and you finish something you talk. When I sit you down, I'm going to call your mother for you. Vernon is like my brother slash sister. <laughs> I could ask him for fashion advice. We play in makeup together. He's so girly. <laughs> 
y'all doing it like you don't even want to do it. If you're going to be absent, you need to communicate. We were just sitting here discussing the importance of your role. So he had to actually stand in for you yesterday. So mm -hmm. accountability is going to be important. It won't happen next time. Okay, so you'll be here tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Or we'll be just holding your banner up and saying that you went to work. <gasps> oh, God, I thought my phone would crack. She wants me to be focused and don't let anything distract me because once I get distracted, I'm easily distracted. If you don't know, I'm very easily distracted. Sometimes I get worried about Vernon because I want him to be able to do big and better things than what he's used to. There's more than just this little town that we live in. Oh, David has a reputation for itself. It's a bad school, fights and stuff always going on. Hey, can I go, please? Just go. What, I mean, what you waiting for? Just go to class. Why are y'all still here? Hey, no, no, no. Can't go that way. We got that blocked off. Outside of school, they think of OW as thug, hood. You can barely go a day without hearing something bad happen, fights, shootouts, or something. There's no level of how how severe something is, you know what I'm saying? Everything is severe. So they, a girl said that the boy's eye is cut because of the brass knuckles. Yeah, we, we want to block this area off from now on. Tell, tell whoever's supposed to be there, Coach Darby, to be on post. Okay. This is ridiculous. Man. So much for three weeks of business. So here's what I'm gonna do. You and your brother are gonna get suspended for fighting. I'm going to put them out because we can't find the brass knuckles, but we got witnesses as he has them. I'm gonna charge him with having a weapon. Putting them out for 10 days with recommendation for expulsion. Yes, They're gone. They're not coming back here. Yes, so y'all got to kill. This has to stop right here. All right? We've done our part. Keep the ice on. That'll go down. You never know what's going to happen when you come here. The Berg is really crazy. You got some, some people who just don't care. Officer McQueen, come back, please. Where's, my, where's McQueen? Because some of the kids said that there are two cars coming up here to retaliate. Somebody's coming up here to, to finish this off. That's what some kids just told me. Well, I just cleared the parking lot just now. So we need, to, we need to keep a watch outside. Two cars supposed to be coming up here to fight these kids. This ain't the safest place to be at all times. It, it, it's just anything crazy can happen at any time. So you got to know your boundaries. You got to know what's safe, what's not. Mr. Jones, uh, I need you to use your cart to be vigilant outside. Um, check the student parking lot and just keep your eyes open out there and alert us to anything that's out of order, OK? One night, I had a gun put to my head. And told, they told me, it was like, if I didn't come up with everything that was in my pocket, they'd shoot me in my head. In America, we've had so many school shootings, mass shootings, that law enforcement believes that if we have an armed police officer in our school, if something like that were to happen, that the school is not totally defenseless. Hi, this is Dr. Peters. Well, what happened is we have video that shows that your youngest son had was in possession of brass knuckles. 
some of the kids are saying that some of their friends are on the way up here to school. Um, I need you to try to help them to ward that kind of stuff off. This needs to stop. All right, okay, thank you, bye-bye. This is the reality of now. It's a continuous cycle um, that never stops. And you, know, you get me, I get you back. My cousin gets you, my cousins get you back. And it has become a culture uh, in our young society. to be too much. Hey, uh, excuse me, y'all need to finish your workout. I don't need y'all to watch the sunshine. <laughs> Cordell, you up? Who's up? You up? I needed a good laugh. My name is Cordell Johnson. I'm a senior. I play football. I'm number 17. I'm a wide receiver. That ain't 260. That's 255. This is 12. Okay, 255? Yeah. Alright, let's go. You good? I know you wouldn't see it in the smile now, but I was a terrible child. And I just talked too much and I was just bad. I was horrible. Cordell is a good friend. I heard well not heard of him, but you know, I knew that he played football and he was on the football team last year and I cheered. Get him done, get him done. Come on. Lock it out, lock it out, lock it out, lock it out. <laughs> So Cordell, he always had a, a lot of confidence about himself. I think that was one of his main goals. And it'd be a star at OW. Everybody been telling me since I'm in like sixth grade, Cordell, you cocky, you arrogant, you this, that, and the third. You just two this and two that. He's just a, a, a friend. Three, LB's on three. One, two, three. LB's LB's dominate, baby. LB's dominate, baby. Right. In Orangeburg, we it's that perception of us being jocks and just picking on kids is not really like that. We just go to class, man. We trying to survive and stuff, man. We just out here trying to make it to the next day. Come here, Mike. We need to use you if you ain't doing anything, Mike. Come on. Come we need here. you out there if you're not in the first offense. Here at OW, football as a tool to get an education, not just being a football player. And, you know, I always go to them and ask them, hey, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to play college football? They say, yeah, so that makes me motivate them even more. Hey, hold up, I need another linebacker out here. All the athletic teams, no matter what team, is year round. And that's what we do at OW. Run it again. Everything at OW, Athletically, is good. They prepare us for college athletically. But academically, uh, no. Say hi. Um, Coach, what is Herb doing? Oh, man, come on, Herb. I, I know you in that great class. I love football. I love it so much, man. I used to take Pepsi bottles, fill it with rocks, and throw it at myself. Somebody played me. Nobody used to play me when I was younger. Slot right, slot right. I haven't went to play football since I was like five. Stay on this side. In college. I just want to get out of Andre so bad. If I could just, like, you ever seen the Wizard of Oz? And like she just click her heels and just disappear? If I could do that, I'd do that right now. I really, really want to get out of Andre. Uh, what is that? What are you doing, old boy? Uh, is that the way you're gonna run the play? Now, who are you foolish doing this like this? Go to the line of scrimmage, then run the play. Red smart. I mean, red dummy three, man. And that's just what you all just done. I actually, you know, make them go through a lot. And there's no shortcut. There's no easy way to do it. It's a grind every day. Hey, man. 
Coach Brown would not let me talk back or anything like that. I'm in ninth grade. I got in trouble, man. He whispered in my ear. He was like, oh, you like tuck back? I'm gonna be talking to that grass all day. And I had to crab all day. There you go. Oh, All right, it. listen up. You know how crazy it's gonna be. Okay, nobody's gonna have fun unless we win the football game, especially us. And we gotta take care of this business. Okay? One, two, three. Be great. Game time, baby. Let's go. It's a big game, and we still got a chance of reading the championship, so this is gonna be very important to us um, to get this win. You know, we've had colleges come in looking for different athletes. This could be the difference in them getting big scholarships based on one game. Everybody goes want to show what they're capable of doing. I never had no goals in my senior year besides making it to college. And it's make or break time for me. Research says it takes three to five years for constructive change to take place in our schools. Unfortunately, we don't have three to five years. We have to change now. And we have to stand up, tired or not, and make a difference. It's seven o'clock or later. Well, good morning, precious princess. Brent Biscuit. So what's the schedule for today? Go to class and it starts at 8.10. Right, I need to, I'm trying to finish my computer work and my economics work. Mr. Triseki gave us a whole packet of stuff to do. What's your schedule today? Go to the factory and try to earn some milk for the baby. Was your last child? I am the last child. No, 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 no. Babies. No, you won't. Might have some more babies. What are you talking about? No, you won't. Uh, might help me to live to be no. 350 or whatever years old. I'm helping you to live to be 350 years old. Yes, ma'am. You see how youthful you look now? That's because of me. All right, me. My daddy is Robert Jones. He supports me in everything I do. I have applied to a lot of colleges. I think I applied to like 17. The career that I want to choose is computer engineering. So I applied to Georgia Tech, which has one of the best engineering programs in the world. I think he wants me to go there because that's like in his dreams, I guess, when he was younger and he used to want to be an engineer, and now it's my chance, it's almost like he wants me to keep striving for those goals. So is that your dream? That is generally my dream, yes. Y'all, I'm going around doing some encouragement talks about testing. Unfortunately, test scores tell the story, whether our teachers are teaching or whether you're learning. And the bottom line is, there's a lot at stake. I know that we will increase our test scores, but we can only do it with your help. So I ask that you join me this morning as we embark on changing the culture at Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. You ready? You feel like you're ready? Okay. All right. We're counting on you. You ready today? Oh, God, no, no. You ready? All right. Do your best. 90%. Good luck today. Good luck. Go get them. You feel great? Feel like you're ready? All right. Let's do it for me, okay? Do it for you. Do it for me. Do it for the school. Start walking. Let's go. I just 
sitting here talking, looking, looking at some highlight. Have a seat, man. We're going to make this attempt to help your dream come true, man. That's, that's my goal. You know, I, I know a lot of coaches dream about winning championship. But my goal is to get as many kids that want to go to college go to college. Okay. That's a good play right there. Showing some speed, breaking tackles. One thing about receivers, it's, it's a tough position to get recruited in because there's so many receivers out there. You got to show something different. You got to show something special. I think I'm special. Oh, I'm a diamond. And I ain't no uncut diamond. I'm polished. You know, put me on a ring right now. I'm, in, I'm engagement ready. That's how I am. You know, I wish I could promise, but I'll never make promises because that's not real. But, you know, you demonstrated a lot of things and, you know, that show me that you can play on the next level. Six million people playing high school football, only probably like 60,000 of them are gonna get into college, but the chances of it is hard. But I mean, I think I am good enough. Yeah, well, that's why we talk about being a student athlete, because one thing about it, um, you can use it as a tool to get what you want. And basically, that's what we try to make you understand. We're putting that student athleticism first. A lot of people don't get opportunities. So you have to maximize your opportunity. You have to make the best out of every opportunity. Welcoming you to Orangeburg Wilson High School Pep Rally. The atmosphere in the Bruins Den is electric and we're with them all the way. A pet rally is a school gathering where everybody in the school, teachers, students, staff, members, everybody, they just come together and celebrate and like get hype for the game. Everybody going crazy, and it just gets you hype. It's a, it's a feeling I can't describe. Pep rallies are supposed to boost the team's morale and show them that they're supported and that we want them to win. Football players, they work hard for what they get. They, you can tell, like they put in work to become something successful. It's not just one person from themselves or the other person just go about themselves. It's everybody working together so that we all can be at the top. Football comes down to what's in your heart. If you keep working or you work hard enough, it ain't no telling what, what you can really become. What do you do on Friday night when the lights are on? It's all or nothing. Better than my class, cause I'm 26 So she did run away? Why is she thinking she ran away, though, instead of something else happening? She said because they have had some... Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is a mom's phone number? Yes. Is this for me? Um, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll call her right now. So we were just notified that one of our cheerleaders, 15 years old, mother posted on Facebook uh, midnight, 4 a.m. this morning, that her daughter was missing. It's been reported to the police. So we're waiting for an update. Um, hopefully she's found safely this morning. Officer McQueen, come back, please. Hey. 
Can you uh, meet me at the elevator junction, please? Hey, man. I just wanted to give you an update. This um, student was reported missing last night to the police. And we're looking to see if she comes to school because mom thinks she ran away. She's 15 years old, ninth grade. But let me give you a visual of what she looks like. If she showed up at school, you might want to, we'll call the mom and then you can alert the authorities that she's here. I'm going to call mom now. Okay. All right. Hi, Ms. Wilder. This is Dr. Peters at OW. Good morning. Um, I just got wind of um, Omara's situation, and you didn't hear her leave the house. So what time did you call the police? All right, did you guys have an argument earlier in the night, or what? So no argument, nothing. Well, does she have a new boyfriend or something that you know of? All right, so who are some of her friends? Do you know Diamond's last name? All right, thank you. Bye-bye. So I come in with a plan for the day, and as you can see, you never know what's going to come up, and it completely derails that plan. The matter at hand this morning is a 15-year-old child who is uh, missing and hasn't been seen since last night. So they haven't seen her since last night. So the door was locked, bedroom door was locked, but window was open. So she went out of the window. And I'm asking her mom, well, do you think somebody took her, abducted her? Nobody knows. Yeah. So she called the police at 1.30. Uh, so that's what we know, and we're trying to locate the boyfriend now. Who's the boyfriend? We don't know. There's too much going on today. You didn't talk to her yesterday? Yeah, we, we was just talking and laughing and stuff. She, she didn't really say nothing about what she was feeling or anything. We were just laughing. You don't know who her boyfriend is? Some temporary, I think he's a Dominican, I think. Did she talk to him yesterday? Yeah, she texted him and asked him was she, um, was he going to the parade? And that was it. She showed me the messages and stuff, but that was it. What did he say? Did he say he was coming? Doing? Oh, I'm better than yesterday. So, how are you? What's going on with you? I mean, I just couldn't stay at the house, so I just left. Did you tell your mom why? Mm -hmm. And what's your take on what she said to you? Mara do things for attention. We don't been through this before. Are you in a testing subject, Algebra 1? Mm hmm so you're not being here to take your algebra test. The school gets a zero. So our test scores will be impacted by a decision you made. I mean, the, the more important thing is that you're okay. I mean, not equating test scores to your well-being. But I need you to kind of connect your decisions to the bigger picture uh, about how many other people you affect. Yesterday was probably the worst day I've had since I've become principal of this school. And it was tied to your being missing because I have daughters. I don't want to get to a point where we can't find you the next time. You could have run away the other night and somebody, some serial killer could have put you in his car and their mom never see you again. All right. Give me a hug. All right. Listen, I love you. First thing I told y'all this summer was uh, good choices equal good consequences usually. Bad choices yield bad consequences.
Getting a phone call about students being missing has happened to me four times in my 30 plus years in public education. It takes your breath away. It's the unknown element, so it makes me uneasy. I was just so relieved and happy, not only for the child, but for the family as well. I that test, uh-huh, that um, I, I didn't do well, I didn't do well. Final exam, you got 22 questions correct out of a total of 45. You don't have to repeat the whole course. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel it, it's okay, I try. I, I'm the one that got the failing grade. I get the work, I get how to do the work, but I guess when the test comes and like, it's shut down mode. The fall testing that we got, the results that we got, I um, was not well pleased. Bottom line is, we're gonna all be held accountable for oh, yeah. what happens. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. We have a job ahead of us, and it's a tough job, but it's um, something that's doable. People need to know that these students are learning. Ours were not great results. We had students who could have passed if they had two more points. And so when you see that, you're like, wow, we could have been like majorly ahead of the game. It gives us hope. But we have a lot of work to do. I was uh, had to get degrees on this form, on this uh, report card again. She pointed that out. Number one in the class. Check me out. Yeah, congratulations. Ooh. What's the amount of the check that I get for that? Check, go check. For uh, your being. You get a one. check of the amount of affection I have given you for 18 whole years. <laughs> All right, all right. Outstanding. Well done, well done. So and what are you cooking tonight? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, gosh. Friday Night Lights right here in Orangeburg, South Carolina, 93.7 FM, the people's station for the Orangeburg Wilkinson High School football game. This is a night of excitement and activity for the whole family. Paul, what do you think about it? Man, I'm telling you, it's a big game, Harvey, as OW facing off against the Berkeley Stags, and you cannot forget about playmaker Cordell Johnson. They're expecting big things out of big number 17. Coming for the fight for the night. Hey, oh you see how we rock. You see how we rock. All oh, coming. That's how you walk me, all pain. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right, man. You gotta do it right. We got the realest everything, man. Hey, see that boy right there? That's a boom star. The boom. My dog, the Batman on. You're getting light up, baby. That's all I gotta hey, say. That's what it is. Boom squad. Hey, baby. This is my main right. man right here, my DB. Yeah, play some one time. Play some, play some. And we got Tariq Thomas in the locker room. Let's get it, let's get it. You already know. Shields in here. Uh oh, uh oh, hold on. I ain't no love. Baby. Game time, baby! Man, muscle up one time, muscle up, Karen. Muscle up, Karen. Uh, yeah, Karen Ryan. That's the team right there, baby. Hey, it's our heart right here, this football. We love this, baby. Let's go. This is a big year for me. Either I'm gonna get a scholarship, or I'm not gonna get a scholarship. If you lose, you live the fight again. And if you win, you're on top of the world for that moment.
High school football LW, it's like everybody that you know and everybody know can be at your game. Or your mama, your people that your mama know, people that you see at the barbershop, the chilies that come on, and the band that come in. And it's a great feeling, man. Number 17, Cordell Johnson, ready to receive. Number two quarterback, let's loose. It's long. Johnson in the end zone. I love going to sporting events and being a proud Bruin. I want my team to win. I'm behind them all the way. I wish them success. Hey, we love. We love. I mean, I always play with Chip Marshall. Because I think I'm Superman. Anytime a W has needed me, I have come to save the day. Football is big. That's just how people dream LW, you know, they gonna make it to the NFL and everything gonna be all good. But at a certain time, you know, reality hits. We are in the second half and it's a different side we are seeing. Berkeley are making a comeback. And Bruins captain Trey up the ground. He's down on the field. Better than that. 30 yard touchdown pass to win the game. You know, hey. We'll yeah. take it. <laughs> we'll take it. Two, three, down there. I'm feeling wonderful. I'm feeling great for Coach Tommy Brown. For the Bruin Nation. I don't like losing. I don't play this game to lose. Who's the person that got shot? Something happened and he pulled out the gun and shot the boy. Randall is popping with the ladies. But okay, I don't wanna get into that. I don't wanna get into that. If people knew what I went through, they understand the reason why I act out. See that hole up there on that wall? I punched the wall. <laughs> <laughs> 